welcome to the third episode in the Lightning Chart JavaScript tutorial series. In this episode, we'll look into creating a couple different scatter chart visualizations with Lightning Chart and explore the available configuration and style options. We will cover four different applications. Static scatter chart, real-time scatter chart, bubble chart and value palette scatter chart. This tutorial is targeted for developers who know the basics of JavaScript. We will be using TypeScript, which is almost identical. Start by opening and running the Lightning Chart TypeScript template. If this is unclear to you, please refer to the first tutorial or learn more in the video description. Creating an LSA scatter chart is really quick and easy. Let's just scrap this template code and generate the test scatter dataset. We now have a list of XY value pairs. Next, we'll create a point series and supply it with this list. Save the changes and we have a minimal working application. Let's have a brief look at the most common point series configurations. Point size as pixels. Point color as fill style. Point shape as either square, circle or a rotatable triangle. For reference, the point series component can handle datasets in range of tens of millions data points. Next, we'll look into real-time or animated applications of scatter chart. A common application type is to change the displayed dataset at a regular interval, which commonly varies between as fast as possible and some seconds. Let's implement this by introducing some modifications. First, Instead of one dataset, we'll generate five datasets. Then let's add the code that changes the displayed dataset every 200 milliseconds. For reference, let's also implement the code that would change the displayed dataset as fast as possible. In this case, every dataset is displayed for exactly one frame at a time. Next, let's look at a bit more specific chart type. The bubble chart adds an extra dimension to the visualization by using an individual size for each point. We covered previously how to change the size of point series, but in this case we need each data point to have its very own size. This is a special feature which can be enabled by supplying a flag, individual point size enabled. When the feature is enabled, a size value can be included in addition to the X and Y values. Here is the finished code for the previously shown bubble chart. The different colored points belong to a different series, which are automatically colored by lightning chart. Next, let's look at value palettes. 
Value palletting refers to a dynamic coloring method where the color of each data point indicates a numeric value. This is similar to the bubble chart, but instead of size, each data point has its own color. Here you can see the value color lookup table that is used for picking a color based on the data point value. Let's replicate this chart. First, similarly to individual point size, individual point values must also be explicitly enabled. Afterwards, we can include a value property to each data point. The value property can be any number. To enable coloring by the value property, a palleted fill is used. The lookup property signifies the basis of coloring. In addition to value, there are also X, Y and Z modes available. The value color lookup table is specified here. In order to display the lookup table in the chart, let's add a legend. I will now demonstrate the difference with the lookup table interpolate property. We have now gone through all the examples of this video. For more scatter chart examples, you may browse our interactive examples gallery. Here are some highlights. Scatter chart with confidence ellipse. Large scatter chart with over million data points. Lasso selection over point series. And 3D scatter charts. In case you missed it, our previous video was about line charts, and the next one will be covering different heat map charts. The full playlist can be found in the video description. See you in the tutorials or in our technical support channels.